Millennials are on track to be one of the most obese generations in history, which you might be surprised to learn. Because when you think of Millennials, your brain will normally go to avocado toast, student loan debt, and being healthy, right? Well, studies also show that Millennials' health rapidly declines once you turn 27. But why is that? Before we answer that question, be sure to subscribe to Bestie and ring the notification bell. Also, support our channel by watching this video until the end. There's something called the 27 Club in the world of music. Rolling Stone magazine calls it one of the most elusive and tragic coincidences in rock and roll history. It's basically the strange phenomenon that many prolific musicians all died at the age of 27, some just years apart. Musicians like Kurt Cobain, Amy Winehouse, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, and more. While we here at Bestie don't think this millennial trend is necessarily as terminal as the 27 Club was, this particular age is quite young for the overall health of this generation to start declining. Before we get to the study, if you're wondering whether or not you might be a millennial, millennials are defined as the population that was born between the years of 1981 and 1996, although some stats show the cutoff closer to the year 2000. With a population of about 73 million in the United States, millennials are usually thought of as fairly health conscious. While this may be somewhat true, according to a large study, researchers found that older millennials above the ages of 34 to 36 have more severe versions of the same health problems Gen Xers did during the same age period. Overall, millennials scored fairly high as a healthy generation, that is, until after the age of 27. While some health concerns like depression are not overly surprising to healthcare professionals, other conditions very much surprise doctors. Dr. Vincent Nelson says that he did not expect to see such high rates of specific physical conditions like hypertension and heart-related illnesses, as these types of conditions don't usually hit until a much later age. Some of the most common health conditions this study found amongst millennials were major depression about a 31% increase in a three-year period, hyperactivity, a 29% increase, and type 2 diabetes, a 22% increase. While other things like opioid crisis, obesity, and mental illnesses are certainly taking their toll on this generation. Not only that, but this same study shows high cholesterol and blood pressure are up with this age group as well, which doesn't bode well when it comes to longevity and living a long, healthy life in general. But it's not all bad. This study and others do say we don't smoke as much, as the rate of smoking in the United States has hit an all-time low last year, so yay for that. If you're a millennial, at this point you may be thinking, why me? It seems we may have more access to information than ever before, so why is this generation on such a downward spiral after such a young age? Well, one of the main issues is obesity and being overweight. According to Professor Linda Bald, the reputation millennials have for being extremely health conscious may not be completely true. According to the data from Cancer Research UK, carrying around an extra few pounds can put this generation at a higher risk for developing 13 different types of cancer, including but not limited to kidney, bowel, and breast cancers. Kate Allen of the World Cancer Research Fund has said, the increase in numbers over the past 40 years is truly astronomical over a thousand percent in some cases. And these numbers just cover obesity. We've discussed this before on our channel, but diets can sometimes be misleading, and you're not always presented with all the information when it comes to making healthy meal choices. It's not uncommon for millennials to hop on a diet that really has no scientific backing and end up not being as healthy as they had hoped. Professor Linda Bald also says that a diet consisting of fruit, veggies, and foods full of fiber are always the best way to ensure a healthy, balanced diet. I guess there's never been a better time to check out some of Bestie's health and nutrition videos on the health and nutrition playlist on our channel. Check out some of those after this video if you're looking to get inspired when it comes to your diet. Another hot button issue with this study was the fact that hypertension is way, way up amongst the millennial generation. First of all, what is hypertension? Well, it's basically another name for your blood pressure and it can lead to some pretty terrible complications while increasing your risk of stroke, heart disease, and death. According to the World Health Organization, processed food and the amount of salt we eat has played a significant role in the rise of hypertension. But besides eating a healthy diet and getting regular exercise, 
How can someone really battle the onset of hypertension? Well, Dr. Nelson once again says that prevention is the best weapon against this type of illness. Nelson also says that many young people don't think of their blood pressure often enough and don't feel the need to get it checked. However, getting your blood pressure checked out could make a real difference when it comes to how you feel and your mood. Another one of the biggest factors in this study as to why millennials' health is taking a nosedive after the age of 27 is because of depression. While mental health has come to the foreground and is steadily losing the negative stigma attached to it, it's still a major issue. There have been many studies diving into why millennials are so weighed down by depression. And according to Jessica Singh, social media has a lot to do with it. According to Singh, this particular generation are the first to constantly compare themselves to their peers, which often leaves them feeling unaccomplished. Millennials have a constant flow of information at their fingertips and are overwhelmed with details of others' lives on a daily basis. There's a lot of pressure trying to measure up to everyone's standards, and that can cause low self-esteem, anxiety, and depression. While social media may not be the only culprit when it comes to depression, the link does seem strong, and depression does seem to be at an all-time high when it comes to the millennial generation. Dr. Nelson states that millennials are more likely to reach out and ask for help than previous generations. However, one in five still do not get treatment. Dr. Aaron J. Friedberg says that this is a very troubling trend, and it's something everyone should be paying attention to. He says if the data keeps growing this way for millennials and generations beyond, this could be the first time in recent history a generation will be less healthy than the one that has come before it. The good news is that this study identifies an issue we still have time to solve. While millennials do seem to care about their health more than ever, Modern convenience and the lack of truthful, factual information when it comes to healthy eating and healthy lifestyle are proving to be a problem. But with studies like this, we know that prevention, like taking care of yourself with a balanced diet and proper exercise, seems to be the best way to combat this ominous trend. What did you think about this particular study? Are you millennial? What steps do you take to live a healthy, balanced lifestyle? Why not let us know in the comment section below? Enjoyed this video? Hit like! Share and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.